everybody. Good morning. This is Michelle with Creative Operation, and I have a Country Craft Creations design team package and a shopping haul that I have got to share with you. It's so amazing. I got back from Utah last, or, you know, earlier this week, and I was there for the retreat, the 1950s murder mystery retreat, and it was so much fun. And I just absolutely had a blast. If you haven't done a retreat with them, you really need to. I will put links down below if you want to check it out. Um, but you also need to check out the store if you haven't. So Country Craft Creations is amazing. And and I've got this great design team haul that I picked up while I was there and brought it home. And I thought I would share with you what I got. And um, then I will be back soon and I will show you, you know, what we're going to be making with this. And then I also have a shopping haul that I just wanted to share with you as well. So if you want to go to the store and pick up some extra stuff, I got some new goodies that I'm really excited to kind of incorporate into my projects. So for this upcoming design team package... I am using Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Berry Fields, and it is such a cute, oh my God, it's so cute. I just absolutely adore how, the, you know, just everything about this package. So um, I'll show you the papers in a second. I did pick up Ephemera, so I got the chipboard clusters that they have, and these are really cool because they're actually like kind of already clustered together, and um, I just... I love how that looks. It, you know, they just look like they're already, you know, just ready to go with a, a cluster effect. And um, I, I, I have a really cool idea. I have shared with you a uh, ephemera holder, and so I'm going to kind of show you how to do some clusters. I'm going to make an ephemera holder out of this for sure. I know that that's totally what I'm going to do. Um, I did pick up, so those are chipboard. I did pick up some paper ephemera. And this has a lot of different pieces in it. I think it has 30 different pieces. So you can see um, I've got a lot of pieces to work with. And then I also got the little um, bits and pieces to go with it. So this is going to create a lot of really cute ephemera pieces for that particular project. If you haven't seen my ephemera holder um, that I'm going to use as, um, you know, I'm going to do a tutorial with this paper. Um, I'll put a link below and you can see, but I'm going to use some of this to help you, um, show you how I create the ephemera, um, little cluster pieces. But I like the fact that these already look like they're clustered, but they are chipboard. So that's really nice. You can use these and it gives a lot of dimension. So it has the look of dimension, but it also does have the dimension with the chipboard. So I think that's kind of cool. Um, so we're going to use that. And then, um, I did get the, uh, enamel dots, the glossy enamel dots, and these are kind of, um, they're not quite as opaque. They look a little bit more transparent and they're a little more, um, well, glossy, I guess is the word. Um, they're really pretty. I like the colors. So I picked those up. I'm going to use those. And then, um, I also, um, picked up some ribbon that we're going to use. And let me see if I can get this open for you. Um, I thought these were really pretty and I thought this matched. I got twine because you have to have twine, right? Uh, I got this beautiful black and white gray um, ribbon that I thought was super pretty. And then this, look at this. You guys, look at this. This is gorgeous. This red polka dot, like burlap strip. It's gorgeous. So I'm going to be using that as well in this design team package. Um, I also, because I had an idea um, that will be coming with this particular paper, I've got the Graphic 45 um, large black tag um, pieces. So you can use these as an album as is, or you can use them in an album. And um, I've got a couple ideas. So I've, I did get a package of those that I'm going to use. Now let's get to the paper. The paper is so pretty. So I organized it so that you can see the front and then the back because I did get two of each. So we'll just go through this really quickly. But this is a beautiful um, strawberry themed paper that is absolutely adorable and I just love it. I love those images. They they really do I mean just bring back lots of memories for me. Um I just think they're so pretty and look at this and the chicken and everything. I just they're just so cute. So I am using the 12 by 12 and I did get again two of each of the papers. We'll just go through this um so you can see but they're just I think they're just so pretty. And I mean, lace, 
doilies, all kinds of things would work with this paper. I just, I'm really excited. I, I've got some great ideas um, in my head. I just have to figure out which ones to do. And, uh, you know, yeah, if I have more ideas, then I might have to just get more paper. <laughs> Look at the mason jars. Is that cute? This would be so cute. I was thinking you could cut these out and use them as tags. On the back, you have this really pretty pattern paper back here. So you could totally um, use these little mason jars as tags and then be able to write on top of that if you wanted to for like little gifts and stuff. I, when I first saw the mason jars, that's what I thought. Look at this quilting. All the stitching and everything. Just cute. Cute, cute, cute. Love that. And the back of this, you know, you have to have your ledger paper, right? It's so pretty. And then um, I did get, and I wanted to show you this as well, and I kind of left that out of the pile, but I did get the kind of solids, and they have a ledger background on the back. So you have the red and then the yellow and then the dark green. And then, of course, when you turn them over, and this one I didn't turn over, but when you turn them over, you have this beautiful blue. And then on the back of the red, you have this really pretty kind of really light gray green kind of color. I'm not sure what exactly it's called cream, but it looks kind of like, I don't know, more. It has some green tones to it. So I like that. And then the, on the back of the yellow, you have a lighter green. So I, I did pick that up. And then um, you also, whoops, I'm going to throw it all over the the craft room here so um the cut aparts now i always get two sheets of cut aparts um sometimes three depends um this had a lot of papers available so i only got two this time but the reason that i do that is because i use one for you know just the cut aparts and this one is really cool because it has the four by fours it has some two by twos um so you have that but then on the back of it look at the rulers OMG, you guys, these would be so cute with borders and things. Oh my God. So um, I did get two of those so I could use, you know, one of each. So then you have your three by four cut aparts here and they're super cute. You have some vertical, um, some are horizontal. So that's good. A little postcard here. Just, oh my gosh, like seriously. And then you got the wood grain back there. So um, I did get that. And then you have your four by six cut aparts. Absolutely beautiful. And then you have your gingham back here. Really cute. And then um, last but not least, the tags. Now, the tags are actually tags on the back. So I did get two. And just like I got everything else, um, got a couple ideas for this. But these are really cute. These would be great for like little presents. You could cut these out and boom, you have an instant gift tag because you can write on the back. But then I've got some other ideas too. So yeah, these would be great using in albums, making an album in and of themselves with these tags. Just really cute. Um, and then we have this other page of cut aparts and I love these because they are different sizes they're all different sizes you can see uh so that makes a lot of variety and you have the longer ones here I just I just think that's cute on the back of this look at this gorgeous butterfly paper I mean I really this is this is probably I mean I know I say this a lot but this might be one of my favorite simple stories ones ever because it's just that cute and the colors vibrant vintage all that stuff i just love it and then to go with the papers um i did go and pick some my colors cardstock so i did get two sheets of each so this is velvet night and it's a really beautiful dark blue that i thought matched i got carnival red a couple of those and this one here and i did look at it before but now i can't remember it is called gold rush and it's a really beautiful paper and then we have knit julep i remember this one <laughs> Um, yeah, because of it, you know, it's a drink, right? I, I remembered that. <laughs> this is beautiful paper too. So these all, um, I felt matched the papers really well. And then I did get some black artisan cardstock from Country Craft Creations. So I've got a pack of that, 25 sheets in here. If you haven't used artisan cardstock, you really need to try it out. It is amazing, amazing cardstock. It scores like a dream. So that is the end of my, my design team package. But now I have all of this yummy deliciousness. And this is the, um, the shopping that I did um, for myself. 
And of course, I'm going to be using some of it in my design kit uh, project, so I will share that with you. Um, but I did get uh, quite a bit of stuff. So um, I'm going to, I did kind of stock up on my magnetic discs because I needed those. I needed to grab some of those. Um, and then let's see, let me kind of sort this out. I got some dies here. I got some fun stuff. Now this here, I bought these Prima flowers and then I got this little package of cute goodies um, with a sewing theme. It has some scissors. It has a little dress back here, some spools of thread and thing. And the reason why I got that is because earlier I had purchased Attic Antiques from Country Craft Creations and they had these in the store together and they matched absolutely perfectly. And so I'm going to be using these. I bought those specifically to use with this beautiful paper. And I have showed you guys this paper before um, in a previous video. So um, I also picked up a new paper file to rough up some edges here because mine is... Um, not this brand. It's an old, old, old one from um, Making Memories. You guys remember that? Um, I needed a new one, so I picked that up. Um, I also, they had these beautiful flowers. Now, some of these things, I have to put a caveat in here. Some of these things are only available in the store. They're not online yet. So um, if you are uh, lucky enough to be in Utah or are driving through Utah during your vacations, you got to go to the store and you got to check it out. Um, but I saw these in the store and I picked them up and they're a 10 piece handmade um, flower collection and they're absolutely gorgeous. And um, I'm going to open one of these just to show you maybe I'm going to open it. <laughs> Let me grab my scissors and I will open it. Look at these flowers. So there's a bunch of these flowers and then look at these fabric flowers. Now this one, it has two big ones and one smaller one here in each pack. Look at how gorgeous those are. They're fabric flowers with the beautiful little middle piece there. Um, perfect backing with the felt. I mean, they're just absolutely beautiful. So these are going to be really great to have in projects. And honestly, I bought them. I don't have a project in mind at this point, but um, I will. I will use them. So I had to have them for my stash and um, use those. Um, I did pick up some seam binding and um, I just, I loved this ribbon here. So um, again, not super sure what I'm going to use this for, but I am going to use it because <laughs> I really liked it. Um, I did pick up Cupid's Heart. I finally decided to pick that up. And this is the Valentine collection that came out earlier this year. And I never got it in my um, in my um, shopping or my design team hauls. And I really wanted it. So I know it's not Valentine's Day. But, um, you know, I'm going to have it for next year. And I really just, I just had to have it. And if I can get it out of the package here. Um... I'm having kind of a hard time here. Oh, shoot. I can't get it out of the package. It's stuffed full. I'll take out a few of the papers, but you can see how gorgeous they are. And I know you've seen some of the other designers have used this paper. And it's absolutely beautiful with the colors and the, the beautiful designs. So I'll show you a few of these papers. But this is called Cupid's Heart. And this is from Country Craft Creations. It is completely, um, you know, it's it's unique and exclusive to Country Craft Creations. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. So I am excited to be able to use this for next year because I just loved it. And so I had to have it. And I know it's a little late for Valentine's Day. But you know what? It's okay. Um, you can do a Valentine's Day project anytime you want, right? And I loved it. So this is the, the paper collection. I just loved it. And then I also got the charms that go with the collection. So I wanted to get that to go with that. And then, and then I picked up the three little pigs. This is a new paper collection and it is so cute. It is so cute. We're going to go through this one because this is a new collection. Um, the Three Little Pigs. So it's a storybook theme paper um, from Country Craft Creations. And if you guys um, have seen, I did um, an album with um, 
Twas the Night, and it was a Twas the Night Before Christmas themed story collection, and I had to have this. I just had to have this. So little page of cut aparts with three little pigs. This is cute. And I, the colors are gorgeous. And you've got all these little cute little bookmark pieces. You could use these as belly bands. You could use these as little tags. And on the back of this longer strips, really adorable. I love it. I got to tell you, this story scared the bejesus out of me when I was a little kid. Oh my gosh, my grandparents had a record album and <laughs> every time the Big Bad Wolf came on, I just flipped out. But aren't these cute? They're so cute. And the paper, I, I just love the pigs. So I, I, the storybook theme is adorable. So there's two pages in each of each of the designs just really I'll just go through this it's, it's so cute so if you have little kids this is a classic story really cute big bad wolf oh he scared me I tell you what the, the, whoever did the voiceover for that one that was amazing <laughs> I remember being just like oh my gosh I love the rest of the story but that guy scared me okay so just adorable papers look at that really really cute so yeah these papers are adorable so um i'm gonna be working with this and again i just i purchased this i just had to have it and um i will obviously when i make a project i will share it with you but that's the three little pigs and again that is from country craft creations and i do know that there are more story themed um collections coming out and um, as soon as I get them, I will get them to you. Uh, Victorian teacups, another paper collection that um, I didn't get when it first came out, but I had to have it. And so I picked it up at the store. And again, this is an eight by eight theme. This is an, a little bit older. This came out in 2021, but it is gorgeous and um, just absolutely beautiful. So we'll go through this real quick. I never had it as a design team package, but I mean, I'm a tea lover. And I know that she has recently done a coffee themed um, paper collection. I'm a tea girl, so um, I gravitated more towards this. But look at this. Look at this. Earl Grey, all that tea, please. The teacups and everything on the back of that. Beautiful music music paper. I just love this. So, um, I'm really happy to be, um, to actually have this now and the colors are just super vibrant. And I think probably maybe that's why I picked that up too. Cause it does match, doesn't it? That's probably why I did. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, it is you know what? It's early in the morning. I've been up since five in the morning. I went to bed at like 830 last night. I was so tired, but I've been up for a while. I've had a lot of my tea. So I'll go through these papers. Um, some other designers have already had this paper collection, but again, I had not. Whoops. And I'm shaking everything. Look at the birds. Oh my God. Can you see the birds? Aren't they beautiful? This paper is so gorgeous. So gorgeous. And I, the colors and stuff with the purples and everything, it reminds me of the, um, the sore papers that came out. You know, these are a little bit more muted than the sores paper, but, um, look at the birds and the roses and everything. Can you guys see that? I hope you can see that. It is absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I'm excited to be using this paper collection. So, so this will be kind of a extra project that I will work on. Let's see if I can... I think the birds are gorgeous. The teapots are gorgeous. I just, everything is just beautiful in this paper. So I um, wanted to show you that. So again, this one's called Victorian Teacups. Again, exclusive for Country Craft Creations and um, another addition to my collection because I really, really wanted it. Yeah. And then this here is the B paper that came out. This was the very first collection, I believe, that came out from Country Craft Creations. There it is. Sorry about the noise. And um, I had to pick this up. I had this and I used it and um, I did an album with it and it was gorgeous and I just wanted to replace my papers. So I have worked with this before and it's stunning. Um, this paper size is eight and a half, right? Eight and a half by 11. I'm just gonna make sure that I'm not getting, yeah, eight and a half by 11. And I just, I had to replace it because I used it all and I wanted more. So there you have it. 
So beautiful paper here. I love this paper. So pretty. Isn't it pretty? The gold. I love, I love it. I love it. Love it. And the, the bees. Just absolutely gorgeous with the bees. Right? So, yeah. I had to have that. I just re replaced what I used. So now I have more to play with. So, yeah. While I was in at the retreat, the last day we went shopping at the store. And um, I kind of loaded up. <laughs> I did load up. So we have that. And then... Let's see, here in her wedding section in the store, she had these ephemera pieces, and I've been um, playing with ephemera, and I have been, um, you know, making ephemera, and they just, they're just such beautiful little pieces that I really wanted to um, pick these up. So I have lots of things to play with. I love it. There's stamps, there's images. I think I got everything upside down. Look at that pretty little thing. Oh my gosh, so pretty. So, yeah, I got some beautiful things. Look at the picture of an Eiffel Tower. Isn't that gorgeous? These are going to look great in all kinds of different projects. And I love doing junk journals. This is going to be perfect for a junk journal. As I said, she had it in the wedding section where she had her wedding papers. And she also had um, these flowers in that section too. So, you know, these are going to go really well together, I think right so nice little labels all kinds of different things so yeah i got these in the store now i i honestly i don't know if these are online or not um but i'm gonna put a link to the store below you can check out all of the things that they have i mean they're just amazing look at these i mean they're just so cute if you're in utah go to the store check it out there's a ton of them in here there's a ton of these things and they're all like, everything's different. Check it out. Mother's Day. The eggs, just everything. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I picked up the pack of ephemera. I wanted to play with that. And then um, kind of last but not least, I got some new dies that I'm gonna play with. So the Scrap Diva dies, or Scrap Diva design dies are in the store. Well, they are not available online, but I will give you the link that you can go to Scrap Diva to pick these up if you're not in Utah. But if you're in Utah, go check out the store. They have a bunch of different um, dyes in the store. This one is a tab die, and it's used to make um, albums with. And I will do that, and I will show you how that is, you know, that will look. But um, I had to pick that up. Um, this is going to be really useful for me, um, you know, to make albums and things. I just really thought that would be fun to play with and then um, I also because I thought this was really cute got the treat box die um, and this one comes with the two different um, dies so you can do all kinds of different things with this and I really thought that would be fun to play with and I really like the hearts in the top of it here so that'll be fun to, to throw th throw through my machine that was that was not hard or easy to say <laughs> And then I got uh, two more new Elizabeth Craft dies. Um, I love the planners and I love the planner dies and I had to have these. So um, this is a new pocket one. It's um, called a curved library pocket and it has different things with it. So um, you can do all kinds of really fun stuff with that. So I'm uh, planning on making uh, another project using my new dies with my Elizabeth Craft system. And then I got the one that's called the uh, Viewmaster die. I had to have it because Viewmaster is like one of my, I just love Viewmasters. And I thought this was absolutely adorable. So I had to have it. And I'm going to be playing with that as well. So um, you guys, I, I got quite a haul. I got quite a shopping haul. I, I got papers that I had that I needed to replace. I got papers that I had um, originally didn't get. Um, and then I got some stuff, you know, like for this, um, Attic Antiques. I had bought the papers, but I didn't have really any embellishments to go with it. So I picked up stuff for that. And then I also, you know, got my design team package here. And um, I got to tell you, this Simple Stories paper is absolutely gorgeous. So 
all that being said, that's my haul. That's my design team package and my shopping haul from Country Craft Creations, uh, countrycraftcreations.com. I'll leave links down below. And thanks for watching. I will be back soon and I will show you what kind of projects I'm going to be making. All right. I hope you have a great day and stay crafty. Bye-bye.